Fox 29 is your home for the World Cup next year, but why wait that long to talk soccer? After all, the inaugural World Humanoid Robot Games is about to kick off between August 14th and the 17th. You heard that right. We're talking about robot soccer this morning. At least 30 robot teams from different countries, including the United States, China, Brazil, and Germany, will face off in soccer matches. Most of the teams are using bots provided by the Chinese company Booster Robotics. Teams then customize the artificial intelligence software operating them. I personally think that the football ability of current robots may be equivalent to that of a five to six year old child. Its speed and ability to perceive the overall situation have a certain gap compared to humans, but it grows particularly fast. The yeah. robots are also armed with visual sensors helping them to navigate the field by themselves. And just like people, you'll see right there, the bots, they can take a tumble, but they are designed to bounce right back up. How you like that, Drew? You think that might be like a, a, a new thing? You tune in on uh, every Sunday to watch bot soccer? I like where it's heading. Now, now I understand why they're tiny, because they look mm -hmm. like mini-me bots. But they're yeah. like, okay, well, they only have the skills of five or six-year-olds. So we're looking at young soccer right there. Mm -hmm. So wait until they get to, like, you know, our height mm -hmm. and our skill level. That I'd watch. I'm all in. Yeah, I think it would be cool. Now, I got to jump back to the previous story we had, and I got to ask you about this. Scary. About the cruise ship. Yeah. Um... How are you? Are, are you a big cruise person? Because Aaron Ember, uh, our, our EP, he's actually doing the show today. And I think he might have put this in because he's actually going to be going on a cruise soon. And, you know, I was mentioning I've never been on one. But have, have you been on? Do you like them? One and done. One and done. Well, you know, it's just not for me. That's more about the social aspect. And mm -hmm. you're just kind of like having a great time chilling. I'm an explorer. I want to get okay. here. I want to get there. I hate sitting still. I need to go boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. So I had a great time. And the food is wonderful, just like everyone okay. says on these cruises. But get me off that boat. I need, I need to be moving. I can't, stay, I can't stay sitting still. Okay. Very good. No, no, no issues with any like slides or anything like that? Everything was cool with yours? Well, I will tell you, when I went, I went through one of the most rocky, like wave Ooh. rocky sort of portions of okay. the world. It's called the Drake Sea. You did? Yeah, it's in between oh, wow. Antarctica and South America. I know exactly what America. you're talking about. Yeah, I got lucky. It was Lake Drake, so it was pretty flat going down. Okay. And I got all cocky. So I didn't take the sea oh. sickness pills that they give you. They say, they say, hey, listen, everyone, take them. Yeah. You know, do yourself a favor, take them, even though you feel fine. I'm like, yeah, I got this. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too bad coming back. Because, I mean, it, it really gets, that's the roughest seas yeah. usually yeah. in the world. It got, it got a little rough, and I was feeling a little seasick. I was regretting not being cocky. I'm going to put, put that out there. Okay. So I learned my lesson. Okay. Aaron said to rap because I don't think he wants to hear this. No, no, no. Keep it smooth. <laughs> we'll give some more advice to Aaron a little bit later.